Hey, hey, Facebook family. What is up, SFIT tribe? How we doing out there? What is up, SFIT tribe? <laughs> hey, hey, if you're jumping on, say hello so I know you're here. If you're catching the replay, be sure to hashtag replay in the comments so I know you watch this video. A really cool topic tonight. I actually get a lot of questions um, surrounding this topic. Hello, hello, hey Tiffany, what's up, lady? Aww. <laughs> okay, so um, actually, kind of like a double whammy with this one. Um, so I have two topics I kind of want to touch on. Um, the first one is why um, eating small doesn't work over time, and then also the benefits of a refeed day. Okay, so this is exciting stuff. <laughs> uh, refeed day is always a, a really fun topic for me to talk about because I get to surprise a lot of people and let you know as a fitness professional that you get to eat more food. Um, okay, so first topic, why eating small doesn't work over time. So if you're in a calorie deficit, we know that you know when we're starting our health and fitness journey that we need to eat healthier. Uh, we need to exercise, okay? So those are the two ways that we typically go into a calorie deficit, right? So um, eating healthier, healthy food is typically lower in calories. Um, so you're eating more volume, but less calories overall. Um, the other way to calorie deficit um, to lose weight is to exercise, okay? Energy output is higher, right? Okay, so we know we have to do those two things. Now, um, after a while, your body will adjust to what you're currently doing, right? It's always trying to adjust the metabolism to the energy output, which is exercise, versus energy input, which is your food, right? Um, your body is an efficient machine. It is merely trying to survive. It does not, you know, know that you want, uh, you know, abs or uh, you want to get lean uh, for summertime or for whatever season. Um, <laughs> not that people only want to get lean in the summer, but um, when you start to get lean, your body thinks that it's dying. It does not realize that you just, you know, are, are trying to do this intentionally. It, it thinks that um, it, it needs to go into starvation mode or it's in starvation mode and needs to hang on to um, all body fat possible. So how to address that? Well, I mean, we do have to go into a calorie deficit to see results, but we can't stay there for long term. So in walks, um, the refeed day, the refeed meals, the cheat meals, some people like to call them. Um, I, I use the word cheat meals, I use that term still, but it really doesn't have to be junk food, right? Because you want to eat based on how you want to feel, right? And so if you eat like crap, you're probably going to feel like crap. Um, hey, if you're jumping in, be sure to say hello in the comments so I know you're here. Um, so we're low calorie, we're in a deficit, we're getting results, but we have to you know, uh, use this tool, uh, a refeed day, a refeed meal or cheat meal, right? Where it's all it means is just a, a surplus of our regular calorie intake. Okay. So we're going over our regular calorie intake so that it kind of shocks the body, shocks your system, um, and speeds up the metabolism again. Because when you go too low calorie for too long, your body will adjust your metabolism to, um, supplement that, right? So it's going to adjust your metabolism. It's going to slow it down because your body doesn't want to get too lean. And so when we have the refeed, it actually triggers a hormone called leptin, which is necessary to burn fat, right? So it's going to increase our fat burning uh, by releasing this hormone leptin. Um, and that's what happens when we have a refeed meal or day. Um, it just simply means that you're eating higher calories than you do the other days of the week. So if you have you know, you're on a, a low calorie, um, you know, meal plan or whatever meal guide or program that you're doing um, and you're eating small, you've got to add in this refeed day to um, continue to stimulate that fat burning process. So when you start to plateau, this could be why. So I've had a lot of women reach out to me since I did the macro uh, training a couple, what's been a couple weeks ago now, week and a half ago or so. And um, they're like, you know, I'm on really low calorie. I'm exercising a lot. And, you know, I'm, I'm actually starting to gain weight. And this is what the body will do. It will adjust 
so that it simply doesn't die, right? So we have to increase the calories, you know, not every day across the board, but you have to throw in a higher calorie day at least one day a week, depending on all the details of your nutrition plan and your exercise program, okay? But in general, generally speaking, um, you really wanna make sure you're adding in that cheat meal at least one day a week, where it's a surplus of calories, does not have to be junk food, you know, um, ideally, you know, some junk food because it's going to be more calorie dense. Um, so it's, you know, uh, healthy food options are a lot lower in calories, so you can eat more volume. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, when you're on a low calorie plan for an extended period of time, what you probably need to, you know, kickstart or jumpstart even more results is um, adding in that cheat meal. So um, if you guys have more questions on this, you know, definitely post in the comments. Let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions. I totally nerd out on all things nutrition. Um, thank you, Tiffany, for jumping in and everybody else who joined in. You guys have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow.